For today's video, I'll be making a special soup. A special soup, a slimy soup using these leaves. If you are seeing this for the first time, when I was growing up, whenever my mama asked me to, to pick the leaves from this talk, you know, I used to be very angry. I don't like doing it when I was growing up. So you can see this talk now. This is called a jit malo. It's called jit malo. And in our in Yoruba language, we call it a widu. It's a very, very popular kind of a soup in Nigeria. So how do we prepare this? I want to show you how it is now. Locally, traditionally prepared in Nigeria. And that's, so that's what I'll be showing you for this video. But before we do that, I need to pick it up the stock. You know, you can eat everything together. You have to pick only, you have to pick only the leaves, you know, pick only the leaves. So we're doing, but while, I, uh, while I'm doing that, I would like to show my full appreciation to my patrons. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I'm grateful to you guys. Without you, all this would not be possible. All of you, thank you. My online family, thank you all of you. Most especially Atomic Shrimp, Mr. Mike. Thank you for everything. My man of the year. Thank you, Mr. Mike. So that's what I'll be picking for this video. Now I'll be preparing and showing you how it is locally prepared. This method that I'll be using to prepare this, it will do some of you, many of you have been sending for the first time. Believe me, because I'm going to see, uh, I'm talking about the Westerners. You're going to see a special method that we use to prepare this kind of uh, soup in Nigeria. To enjoy the Yutumalo soup, I'm almost done. To enjoy it, you can enjoy it with uh, either semolina. Uh, this is our uh, semolina. Though this semolina is fairly new. Oh, we were growing up, I had nothing like semolina. I'm talking about in the in the early nineties. All of a sudden, I don't know. Probably it was present, but are too expensive for for an average person like us. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done the research. But I know I got to know about this semolina when I became an adult. So, I mind you, uh, look at it. Well, sure traditionally, economically, this is uh, regarded as food for the, you know, the rich, those who are well off. But uh, unlike this gari, this is Oko gari now. Uh, we use this gari to make a bar. Now, this gari now is known as the food for the poor. Because it's the cheapest food that we have in Nigeria. Uh, locally, informally, if you want to measure how expensive food are in Nigeria now, <laughs> if you want to know whether the price the price of commodities have fruits have increased in Nigeria, usually check the price of this gari because it's the cheapest cheapest food that can be found in Nigeria. So once the price of this gari has increased, that means that the the price of other food items have increased. You know, as it is now, without making it, but you can eat it daily. Mm. I made a video about this. You can eat it directly like this. It's just drink water. You can add water to it. Add, uh, if you like, you can add sugar to it or milk. You know, you can easily enjoy it. Even without adding anything, you can decide to be eating it like this. Of course, I've eaten it a lot. Like that. So, so it's for the <laughs> it's food for the poor. All right. I'm ready now. I've picked the quantity that I want. You know, because there will be so many uh, particles like uh, sand and other things that will be attached to the leaves. So, you know, you got to run it like once or twice. You just have to do that. If not, you find out that your, your soup is, uh, should I say stony? Or uh, it's just, you know, full of sand. And that is not going to be pleasant. Just a thought. Just you are wondering what this what this gari is made from and now it is made from cassava you know, so i know some of you might not have seen i'm talking about the western i not have seen the cassava before it's, you know it's a kind of a root plant that can only be that can only be found i don't know if i'm correct in west africa and some part of asia i'm not sure and this is locally made the locally made and now uh, i guess it's one of the reasons why it's a uh, it's cheap that's one of the reasons and also there's a variety there are many ways in which you can consume it and it's also filling it's also very very filling so 
I guess those are the main reasons why it is very popular in, uh, in Nigeria. Like somebody wants to, in, wants you know, want to tell you, want to tell you how sovereign they are. I want to tell you that. So in fact, this morning I only ate Gary. They're telling you how broke house can't, how much they are suffering. So since I've rinsed it, just uh, put it right there. Just put it on the soap. Once again, I want to use this opportunity to thank my patrons. And those of you that are commenting, liking my videos, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. My online family, I'm grateful to you guys. The love you guys are showing me. I find it to be unbelievable. Thank you all. Thank you all. I'm grateful to you guys. I'm grateful to all of you. Thank you very much. As you enjoy, as you like my videos, as you support my channel. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. So I'm going to allow this to cook for like five minutes before I check it. The thing is that like some people, they will not cook it like this. Some people will slice it. They will, you know, they will cut it into bits before they cook it like this. In fact, you can find powdered form of this juice leaf. Juice mallow leaves. You can find the powder from online. But you know, those are for those who don't want to go to uh, through the traditional method. But for this one, I'm um, just showing you how it can be cooked once it's taken from the farm. So, allow this to rest for five minutes. All right. In the western world, just to have, you see, guys, you put almost everything in can in Nigeria too. You know, our own is not the best method. We put many kind of food in now. Uh, in sachet too, in plastic wrap, plastic bag, whichever one. You can see that this one is prawn. You know, it's prawn. And the reason why we do that is so that, you know, it can be easily affordable, you know, for the people due to the economic situation of Nigeria. So we have right here, this is a prawn. <laughs> I bought two that I'll be putting in my juice mallow soup. And this is seasoning, in case you are looking at it. It's seasoning. Uh, seasoning and I bought this one for 15 naira. I don't know how do I express that in uh, how do I express that in dollars? Yes, I don't know that. So we have seasoning right here. I have this, I'll be cooking it with the prawn. Uh, so it's not for, for me. I'm not going to be using the granny stone to process my pepper, I'll be using a blender for that. So a manual blender, yes, <laughs> we love my uh, manual blender because you know the issue of power in Nigeria. So I'll be using my manual blender for that. In case you've never seen this before, just like uh, it works close to the electric one, just that instead of the power, you use your hand to power to crank it up. You know, <laughs> it's just close to that as it can get. Yeah, look at that. So you just turn it. Once you turn it, it does what you want. Now look at that. Can you see that? It's, that's the way it does its job. Simple. But as you can see now, it will not crush the seed. Uh, just like the electric uh, the electric blender, it will not crush the seed and like using the grinding stuff. So that will affect the taste of the soup. Or whatever you want to cook with it, it will affect it. You can see the seed. And skip. Unaffected. Only the flesh and the skin. Uh, that is why using the grindstone makes your food to taste better or easier to prepare. Alright, this one is done. Uh, you can see that. I know many of you have seen this for the first time. It's called this one uh, <laughs> manual blender. The problem with this is that you just have to dismantle in order to remove. The remaining part of the scotch bonnet from it. So that is about my pepper. I'll be adding ground melon seeds to so melon seed. In case you don't know, I've made a video about melon seed. If you want to know what exactly melon seed is, I made a video about a melon seed soup, which we popularly call egg soup in Nigeria. So this is a ground one. I'll be adding it to the due to melon soup. Now traditionally now we uh we usually add this juice mallow soup to other soup. We usually combine it. And why do we combine it? Because it's a slimy soup, 
It allows us to swallow our bolus easily. In fact, I know some people that they will not eat any kind of sturdy food. I'm talking about like uh, our amala, like a bar, like uh, uh, pounded yam. They will not eat it unless they have this jute mallow soup. So there we have it. It is soft enough. Now it's now time for me to use a kind of special broom. This is a kind of special broom. This is a broom that we call it ijabe. We just want to use it to pieces the leaves. All right, that's just a very simple thing you want to use it to do. And now, uh, we usually call this ijabe. You need to know what you are doing and the purpose you are doing. In fact, if you don't get this right, it will affect if I just soup. Everything about your soup will not be right. You just have to get this right. So apologies for the background noise. What you are hearing in the background, the noise is generator now. Now, three days ago, it was announced that our power grid has collapsed again. Nigerian national grid has collapsed more than eight times this year alone. More than eight times. A sector that has gobbed more than $50 billion for the past eight years still collapsing. That's to tell you the extent in which corruption has eaten into the fiber, the fiber of Nigerian society. That is why many Nigerians are leaving this country in droves. Probably I'll leave someday. To be nice, to raise children in, in a sane and normal society. You know? It is not easy being born and raised in Nigeria. It is not just easy, believe me. If you're not careful, you start to think that something that is not normal is normal. Like, for example, now, if you're not careful, if you don't retune your brain, you start to think uh, bribing is a normal thing. If we need to do something, probably you need something from, uh, from the government that is normal for you to bribe the officials. You start thinking like that. No, it, it can make someone, it can make you to start thinking negatively. All right, I'm done with the brooming. Yes, I'll call that brooming. <laughs> So I'm done with the brooming. The next is nice now for me to add all the necessary ingredients. I've added our salt or just a pinch of salt you add to it. Yes, I call that brooming. The method is called brooming. Yes, you can see that. I still have to cook it. It is slimy. And according to what I read, this soup is very, very medicinal. It has a lot of medical benefit, a lot. So now I'll be adding the pepper now, the scotch bonnet. The reason why I add the scotch bonnet is that I, uh, so that it, 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 it will be hot a little bit because if you don't put the scotch bonnet, it, you know, it just, it, it will be too, it won't, it won't be bland. But uh, um, you, the thing is that we are not used to having any food that does not contain pepper. You know, it has to be hot a little bit. In fact, our culture, which is Yoruba culture, is famous in Nigeria for loving pepper a lot. You can see from my video, is yes, we love pepper a lot. The next thing that other, uh, other main cultures, talking about the Igbos and the Hausa, they used to make just of us, that we love pepper too much, that we put pepper in everything. Uh, that is entirely true. We love pepper, we love our pepper. My prawn, let's easily add my prawn. The seasoning cube in the prawn a uh, wrapper, a seasoning cube that I found in the prawn wrapper. So I won't use everything so that it will not be it won't be too much. So I'll be conserving it. Right? The ground melon seed, you see, the ground one, the melon seed. So just to put it there. Right. Okay, let me increase there. Alright, that's about it. Then the last ingredient is red oil. I'll be adding red oil now. Just a very small quantity of red oil. Just a very small quantity of red oil. But if I were to be if I were to be cooking this, if I, if I was going to combine this with other kind of soup, like stew, I'm not gonna be adding the red oil. Because I'm not combining it with any kind of soup. That is why I decided to add the red oil. If not, 
I don't do that. All right, I'm done with the grilling. So I'll allow this to cook for five minutes again. And uh, we shall see from there. <laughs> All right, you can see that. If anybody who is a great cook, an engineer who is a great cook sees <laughs> what I cook, they are going to laugh at me. Yes, they will make fun of me. But like I used to say, if what I cook, if what I cook is safe to to be eaten and it also tastes good, I'm okay. I'm okay. If it, it's safe to eat and tastes good, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I don't I'm not really bothered how it looks like. I'm not really bothered. Though I'm not saying making your food appealing is not good, it's also very good. But those two factors, they are the main factors. At least for an amateur. For an amateur like me, you know. <laughs> Look at that. Like I was supposed, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, to be slimy and I'll be, I'll be drooling. But I don't see that. I don't know why. Probably it's because of the uh, melon seed. I'm not sure. But from what I'm perceiving now, the aroma is good. Too bad the camera cannot record the aroma. Too bad you guys, you'll have judged me based on that. <laughs> All right. If I had locals bin, I would have added locals bin, but I don't have a locals bin, so too bad. Despite the fact that I don't believe in curses, sometimes I used to think as if we are cursed in this country. In case you are wondering what I'm talking about, this present administration, General President Mohammed Buhari, if you add together the number of times that he has spent uh, abroad, either for medical treatment or for relaxation or for whatever, it could be added to four years. That is a whole term of his two terms, though that may be a little bit exaggerated. Now, the ruling party, their main candidates now, which is uh, Bala Ahmed Tinobu. It's also a sickler. What I'm saying is that the present president is a sickler who spent a lot of his time, a lot of administration, a lot of tenure <laughs> on the uh, treatment bed. Now we have another one who is likely to be the winner because of the ruling party. He's also a sickler. He's also sick. Now, the officially campaign for this, uh, for this election is supposed to start yesterday. But uh, he read on this that because of uh, his sickness that he has traveled overseas you know, like they used to do. They travel overseas for treatment, you know. They are the ones that are supposed to make our health system better. But because they don't do it, whenever they are in need of one, they travel to the Western world to do it. So as a Western world receiving treatment as to speak according to the news. Now that means that if he ends up becoming the president of Nigeria, Nigeria is also going to be spending billions on his health. <laughs> health system that is already known before he decided to become Nigerian president. So that is why I think, as if, are we cursed in this country? I don't know, I can't answer the question, but it seems so. Despite the fact that I don't believe in curses. So, if you look at this, I'm making a bar. As you can see, this is the garlic, this is our hot water, so I'm making the but that's what I'm making right here. So as I'm making the ebba now, uh, this one is a stick. We call this the imorogun. I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, this one is imorogun. And we call this terra. I don't believe that. It's not really a terra. It's a you know, for making this kind of food. So to make the ebba now, oh my God, this is too soft. Now we have two types of people when it comes to ebba. Those who love it hard, like my wife, and those of us who like it soft, like me. So, I like it soft, not hard. In fact, my mom loves it soft too, not hard. I know some of you are seeing this for the first time. Some of you Westerners are seeing this for the first time. So this is how we prepare. This is how we prepare our semolina. This is how we prepare our eba. This is how we prepare our amalatu. I think that's all. That's good. These are the kind of food that we prepare using this terra. Yes, in preparation of fufu too. But that one is a large scale. Fufu is not usually prepared at home. Because of the laborious process that is involved in it. 
then heart. So I'm going to allow this to cool down. Yes, it's done in case you're wondering. It's done as simple as that. The moment everything is well mixed, integrated together, that means that uh, the EPA is, uh, is done. It's too soft. The next thing is I'm going to scoop it into my plate and add my, my beautifully made soup to it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Once again, thank you, my patron, for supporting my channel. I'm very grateful to you guys. Thank you very much. Without you, all this would not be possible. I'm grateful to you guys. If you have any question, any comment, whatever you want to send me a package anywhere all over the world, put it in the comment section. I'll surely reply to you. You know, I reply to all comments on my channel because we are family. My best prepared is cooked. You can see my twin plate. This is what I used to eat my uh, my stodgy food. Now this is my jute mallow soup. Jute mallow leaf soup. It might not look beautiful to you, especially if you have, you have ever you have cooked jute mallow soup before. But believe me, this tastes good. The aroma is good. It's good. You guys can easily enjoy that. You know, with your bare hands. No spoon, no fork, no knife. With your bare hands. Mm. Tastes good, but they're very hot, believe me. They're very piquant. <laughs> they're very hot. I remember that is how we love it in Nigeria, especially in the western part of Nigeria. If you'd like to see me eating this on video, put it in the comment section below. Next time, I will add <laughs> the clips of me eating this food in the video. But I assume people will not really care about that. But if you do, let me know in the comment section below. I will start putting it in my videos. How I really eat naturally. Alright? I'll see you next time.